All right, there are just a few hours left to register to vote in this year's election. Now, boards of elections close at 9 o'clock tonight, and tomorrow the first early ballots will be cast. Thanks for staying with us at 530, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. With the high political tension happening right now in Ohio and across the country, the people who keep your vote secure need their own security. As 10TV's Bryant Somerville found out, city leaders have a plan for that. Columbus City Council is putting more protections in place for November 8th poll workers. Certainly as an elections official, uh, you know, we, we applaud that. Franklin County Board of Elections PIO Aaron Sellers says the new legislation serves as a strong reminder for best practices at the polls. The job is already hard enough as it is. And, you know, elections, you know, people are, uh, you know, they, they these are big elections, presidential cycles, gubernatorial gubernatorial cycles. People are uh, passionate. They are, and that's not a bad thing. Um, but just remember that your poll worker uh, it is, is a vital part of the component of running elections. Let's be clear, it is already against the law to assault somebody or, or to, you know, to create an a unsafe situation at a polling location. Secretary of State Frank LaRose says most Ohioans understand the polls are a sacred space and believes Columbus's ordinance was unnecessary. I think this is the problem with sort of 24 seven news cycles on cable and everything else. They may have heard about something else that happened in another state and, and perhaps overreacting a bit. But listen, we'll, we'll never take any chances when it comes to public safety. And so if that's the decision they wanted to make for Columbus, we welcome that. He says to his knowledge, there have been no credible threats in Ohio against poll workers. I received a call in August at the primary where somebody was threatening one of our poll workers. City Councilman Emmanuel Remy says he didn't think penalties went far enough. Now, if something happens to a poll worker, it is a mandatory three days in jail. We're serious about this. If you, inf you interfere with the election process, there will be significant consequences. Seller says on November 8th, there will be 309 voting locations in Franklin County, 199 of them in Columbus, making up about 64%. And to work those polls, Franklin County BOE is recruiting 5,000 workers. If there's one thing that I am certain about, we're going to make sure that everybody that comes to vote and all of our poll workers are safe and secure. In Columbus, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. Now, according to Columbus City Council, along with three days in jail, a person found guilty of election interference or harassment of an election official will not be eligible for probation, house arrest or work release.